this is part one out of many on how to build one of these fancy little lasers here. So chances are you click the on shape link and you can view something like this. Okay. So it's got a couple options on the left side here and it's got our tree and our parts list. Okay. So to navigate this, you hold down your right click button on your mouse and you drag. Okay. That's how you rotate this thing. You notice the compass in the upper right moves along with it, right? You can also click parts on the compass here. Okay, if you want to pan it around, you hold down the middle click button and drag that. Right? So you can recenter it. You can also use your wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, so first thing we need from this drawing is a frame. Okay? So I guess before we do any of that, we need to figure out what sort of options you want on this thing. Okay? And we'll do a little bit of math to show you how this works. So all of this is in millimeters, okay? So if I want to build something, like let's say I need it to be 12 inches by 16 inches, right? I think that's about what this is already. But I'm gonna take my calculator here, okay? So these are the rail sizes, okay? So if I go to AliExpress or Amazon or anything and I wanna order rails, I can go to AliExpress here, right? MGN 12H. And here's a ton of rails, right? And so, first one I click, I'm sure there's better prices, but MGN 12H is the type of rail I want. Let's say 350 millimeters, right? So, this would be my Y axis. So, $15 each. I need two of those, right? And then I want, let's say, 450 for my X. 1683. Okay. So, how to order these is one thing, but let's look at the math here. So if I want 12 inches of travel for the Y and 18 inches of travel for the X, what I can do here is 12 times 25.4, okay? And that is 304. So I need 304 millimeters of just travel, okay? Which means I need at least 344 millimeters rail because it takes about 40 millimeters it takes about 42 millimeters, actually. If you look at the the carriage here, I'm going to right-click on this part and hit hide it. Okay, see this green carriage here? This carriage here takes up about 40 millimeters, okay? It's, I think it's exactly 42, but we can go a little beyond that. So this point to this point, okay, 39 millimeters. Maybe it's shorter. Or maybe that's for a 9 millimeter rail. Let's see. Ah, it's for an MGN 9. Okay. So, that's 39 millimeters. So then instead, you go to AliExpress, right? And do MGN 9H. There it is. And then you save a little bit of money on that, right? So we're using MGN 9H on our Y and MGN 12H for our X. Okay, let's go back here. So our math said we need at least 304 millimeters, 304.8 millimeters of travel to get 12 inches. So we'd have to go one size up here, right? So for our Y rails, I'm going to do 350. Okay. And now it will rebuild this thing for us. You know, it's going to get, there it is. It got a little bit longer. And let's say, yeah, I want 18 inches or 16 inches. Let's do 16 inches in X. So 16 times 25.4 equals 406. Well, that's obviously 450 then because we need to give that extra 40 millimeters of travel, right? Which puts up to 446. So for X rail, we'll do 450. All right. And then our teeth. On our gears here, so when we put a motors, when we put motors on these things, they're gonna have little gears on them, sprockets with teeth to hold the belt. If you want it to go faster, we can pick up 24 tooth or 25 tooth gears. If we want it to 
have a little more torque, we can go with lower teeth. But the standard teeth is uh, 20, 20 tooth years on this, which means every time it rotates, it's 40 millimeters. So unless you want something complex and uh, different, let's just stick with 20, 20 teeth on these things. Okay. So now that we have our dimensions here, now we need to figure out, I'm going to hide the lid too here. Click on it, right click, hide that part. Okay. Actually, I'll hide, hide a lot of this stuff. Hide all these parts. Okay. So here we go. Here's the frame plus some other parts, okay? The inner parts. So we got 350 for a wide travel, right? These little rails right here are now 350 millimeters, right? And then our X rail is now 450 millimeters, okay? Now we need to decide if we want to do a dual laser, two lasers on it, right? Or a single laser. The single laser will move faster because it's about half the weight, right? The dual laser will go a little slower, but you'll be able to do twice as much because once you get X and Y motion in, like, you can have another laser on here, and then you get double the capability out of one machine. Or you can, you know, build one machine per laser head if you want. That's fine, too. But you have the option here to do dual laser, right? So you use a big bracket or single laser, which you use the little bracket for. So I'm going to keep with the dual laser because I'm sure that's what most of you are interested in. And you don't have to put two lasers on here. You can just have one laser and then decide to put another laser on here eventually. Okay, so what we have here is all these other parts are hidden. Just to verify that, you can select the part, okay? You right click, and one of the options is hide that part. So I'm gonna click hide, okay? Now that part's hidden, right? So now we can just see the 2020 aluminum extrusion, okay? So we need to get all the sizes we need, right? So first of all, I like to start with long to short. So this one, this one, and this one are all the same length, okay? So when I start making a list here, I'm going to start writing it down. I need three at 690 millimeters, okay? And then next longest one is the gantry here. I need one at 651 millimeters, okay? Now when you're cutting these, Make sure you cut them a little bit short or exact, okay? You don't want them too long. If they're too long, they're not going to fit right. If they're short, you might have a little gap, but that's not going to hurt anything. Okay, so I got three here at 690. I got one at 651, okay? The next longest ones are these guys. So I've got four of these, right? I got one, two, three, four, okay? Okay. And they are 430 millimeters. So I got four at 430 millimeters. And then I got these guys, two of them, at 365 millimeters. Okay. Then I got a bunch of these back here. And, oh, I want to just select the line. There we go. 165 millimeters. Okay. So five of these at 165 millimeters. Okay. If you're not doing the filter, you can just cut four of these. If you're doing no filter, single fan, like if you just want to exhaust the, the smoke outside, just do four of these back here, okay? But if you are doing the built-in filter, uh, make sure to cut five of these at 165. And then up front here, we have four of these little guys at 100. And then the tiny guys here, we have at 791.924. So what I would do is cut this like right below 72, right? doesn't matter where. It doesn't have to be like perfectly exact. If there's a tiny little gap here, that's not going to hurt anything. If it's too long, it won't fit together, right? If it's too short, it will fit together, okay? And so that's our regular 2020. Now, I've had success actually 3D printing these pieces out. You can order these. Like, from a lot of places, I order all my extrusion from Misumi. But these guys are tiny. They're 25 millimeters or 45 millimeters long. Let's see. They're 40 millimeters long. Yeah, 40 millimeters long. 
I can print that. And then you need another one at 65. Or, sorry, 85. Yeah, that's 85. So, your long ones, your ones going in your Y axis and ones going X axis will depend on how long you want your rails and if you're a dual laser. The up and down ones here, the the Z axis ones are always going to be the same length. Okay, so no matter how wide or long you make it, these ones will be the same height here. Okay, so once I got my list, now I'm ready to cut this extrusion. So that will be the next video on cutting the extrusion here. Thanks for watching.